least 10 people have been injured after rockets from southern Lebanon landed in the city of Haifa in northern Israel. It's the first time the port city has been hit since the war in Gaza began a year ago. So now even Haifa, Mehendi, being struck by rockets today. Well, it's a very unfortunate thing happened because the Israeli police has reported that Hezbollah rockets have struck Haifa today and it's Israel's third largest city and earlier uh, with Israeli uh, you know, reports indicating that 10 people were injured in the country's northern region and according to Hezbollah, they targeted a military base south of Haifa with a barrage of Saudi-1 missiles and also reports are suggesting that the two rockets have landed in Haifa located on Israel's Mediterranean coast when five others have struck the Tiberias around 65 kilometers away and also Israeli police have confirmed that several buildings and properties have been damaged with some injuries classified as minor but a number of individuals were transported to a nearby hospital uh, due to uh, you know major injuries for treatment and also uh, the surveillance footage have captured the movement of Hezbollah rocket impacted Haifa and independently it has been said by the reports that uh, uh, it has been verified also that the location through building outlines, road layouts and business signs alongside the satellite imagery, uh, all the, the areas have been affected badly. And the date was corroborated through uh, matching reports and the timestamp data also. And in response, Uday, Israel's military has reported that its for, uh, fighter jet has targeted Hezbollah's intelligence site quarters in Beirut, hitting intelligence gathering assets, also the command centers and other infrastructure. And in the recent time, Airstrikes also targeted Hezbollah weapons storage facilities in Beirut, leading to secondary explosions, indicating the presence of Iranians there. And also, additionally, Israeli airstrikes hit Hezbollah positions in southern Lebanon and also the Bika area, targeting weapons depots, infrastructure, a command center, a rocket launcher, and everything that was present there. And also, Israel have accused Hezbollah of deliberately placing its command centers and weaponry under residential buildings in Beirut, thereby endangering civilians. So these are the big developments that are coming right now. Yes, sir. All right, uh, Mendi Garka, appreciate you joining us. Uh, or rather, stay with us, uh, Mendi, because we're getting some more uh, developments also coming in now this hour. Two people are wounded as a result of Hamas rocket impact in central Israel. They admitted in the Asaf Harofe Hospital. The IDF has said five rockets were launched from southern Gaza's Khan Yunus in this attack. Uh, Mendi Garg uh, continues to be with us. Uh, Mendi, uh, news also coming in now from another part of Israel. Uh, reportedly, uh, uh, there are injuries reported, uh, two injuries reported as a result of this rocket attack as well. Well, the, the number has been expected to increase up to four children because it has been observed that four children have been injured by the live rounds uh, during an Israeli military intrusion into the Kalanya refugee camp right now. And according to the local residents there, it has been also reported that Israeli forces have stormed the camp and also uh, raided multiple homes and detained 18 Palestinians also. Uh, these are the reports uh, that are coming right now. And the Palestine Red Crescent uh, Society has also stated that its medics in Ramallah and also the al Bedi area has treated the injured children right now and with one children described as being in critical condition but during the operation Israeli forces also sealed off the road surrounding the camp, the Kalandia camp and also the nearby town of Kafar Akab. So it is expected that the number has increased up to four but uh, the children have, uh, the children th those who are affected by these attacks have been taken to the hospital but only one child is in a critical condition right now. Yes, <coughs> All right, uh, Major General Rajan Kocher, let me uh, quickly draw you in here as well, Major General Kocher, because the fact, of course, very clearly is that uh, we're seeing a barrage of rockets today being fired on Israel uh, from uh, Gaza, but also from Lebanon, resulting in multiple injuries. Uh, Uday, I think it is more of a messaging being done. A message being conveyed, yes, absolutely. Uh, it's more of a messaging being done uh, because of this day of 7th October, because uh, Hezbollah and Hamas want to make a statement today and uh, that is how we are uh, seeing even uh, uh, Tel Aviv has been uh, uh, showered with uh, rockets as well as the Haifa port because uh, that is uh, in the close uh, proximity to the Lebanon border and it is also uh, it also brings us to an important uh, fact here that uh, a larger escalation is seems to be in the offing today 
because I believe uh, Lloyd Austin and uh, you, uh, Gallant, has have had a, a telephone uh, conversation in the morning uh, today, uh, carrying out a, a plan of action most probably on the Iran front. Be because, see, uh, we are right now bogged down with what is uh, happening in Lebanon as well as uh, Gaza. But uh, we have lost our uh, focus on the Iranian side because of certain statements, I uh, presume, which is uh, coming from Israel, that uh, there is a likelihood of some kind of action on the Iranian front. And uh, this is going to have very uh, serious uh, repercussions on especially the uh, oil facilities which are uh, there uh, today in this area the Strait of Hormuz, the Persian Gulf, the Red Sea and the Suez Canal. So, uh, almost 28 to 30 percent of the world's oil requirements, especially the OPEC countries, 12 of them, are supplying this uh, through this route. So, the larger implications I feel is that in case this conflict escalates onto a new front on the Iranian side, and in case uh, Israel decides to launch missiles there, it is going to endanger this particular uh, uh, aspect of uh, uh, economy of the world because most of the countries are dependent on this uh, important resource of oil and energy, especially India. Uh, today, the uh, cost of the oil crude oil barrel is almost touching $80 a barrel. In times to come, it may even touch $100 a barrel. So, uh, this aspect, I think the world the powers have to take a cognizance of and ensure that no such action is taken by Israel on the Iranian front because in, in case uh, uh, this happens, I am afraid it won't be going back. This war is going to escalate into a major, major uh, conflagration in the Middle East and uh, larger powers may also uh, get sucked in. I am also hearing the reports of the Russians uh, supplying their uh, uh, Sukhoi 30 aircraft to Iran and uh, some fighter pilots of the Russian Air Force are also uh, uh, coming to train the Iranian uh, uh, fighter pilots and if uh, that uh, scenario is going to be played and if we go to uh, further that uh, narrative i think uh, you uh, we are in for trouble times for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon